Two boats on that screen, both got the same name in different languages, and of course one of them is mine, Dragomor, Welsh, the Dragon of the Sea, and that one is Drago do Mar, I assume Portuguese, for Dragon of the Sea. Who would have thunk it? It's a, I don't know if you can see this, this is the plug for the boat, it goes in there, if you pull the plug out the boat sinks. Uh, I pulled the plug out, but we didn't sink because I got another plug. I put the other plug in, so we didn't sink. Ready? Three, two, one. Plug is out. Plug is in. Ah. And guess what? We didn't sink. We did not sink. I'm still alive. Giving it a wipe did not help. It thinks the depth is 38.3 meters. The actual depth is 500 meters. It just came back when we hit 200 meters. It came back. I wonder if that's a limit. If it is, why does it say 300 meters right there, you idiots? I was uh, just Googling um, firmware updates. Look, see, firmware. I've got limited, because I'm about 10, 15 miles away from the Portuguese coast. I've got limited internet access. And I was Googling firmware updates, because uh, I'm not sure I could have done it. I've got a little mini USB. Oh, there was a dolphin right there. That's a good timing. Hello, dolphin. Where have you gone? Anyway, there you are. Look at that! Lovely. Yeah, I, I must have scared it into action by googling the firmware update. Because uh, I, I possibly could do it. Um, the only problem is getting it onto the USB stick would be tricky. old world. Six days ago, six or seven days ago, as I was trying to get out of Biscay, I'd got across Biscay and I was just trying to get around Finisterre and I was becalmed. And uh, it was as if Biscay didn't want to let me go. And now, at the bottom of the Atlantic stretch, I mean, there's a little bit of wind just picked in now. But again, be calm. As if it didn't want to let me go. Either that, or there's something mentally where I, I, I don't want to leave. But I, God, I do really want to leave the Atlantic. So, weird, weird. Anyway, that's Cape St. Vincent Lighthouse right there looking glorious we've got sunshine we've got beautiful coastal views I've got the engine on for now but uh, that's going to change I think very soon lovely so I hoisted that in front of all the spectators on the edge of the cliff there watching me this is, um, Sagres lighthouse wave to all the people on the on the cliff top there Give him a wave. Yeah, I see they're waving back. That's nice. This is the Portuguese Algarve coast now. All the way down here. There's like a million places I could stop, have a shower, buy some more cigarettes. But I'm not. I'm pressing on. I'm pressing on. Cadiz is over there. Gibraltar over there. And the Alice and Mary is close by somewhere. I'm doing 5.8 knots in 14 knots of wind, so I'm happy. I'm not doing it in a very straight line though. It's because I'm pointing the camera and talking to you. Turned the corner and made it onto the Algarve coast. We're now playing a fun game called Chase the Wind. Black calm. Oh, and Chase the Dolphins as well. How lovely. But I will be chasing the wind, not the dolphins. So, um, the further off the coast I go, the less wind there is, of course. What we're getting here is some sea breeze. Warming of the land, yada, yada, yada. So, I'm trying to stay just in the... Hello. Just in the, the gap. Uh, enough off the coast, but not too far. That I stay in a bit of wind. Dolphins taking the books. Hey, 
kind of I'm talking to camera here about a little bit of respect. Yeah, right, back to work. Oh, no, sorry, what was I, I was saying, yes, this big sail. Big sail gets the boat moving. I can't use the main sail. I just had a video call with uh, with my sailing guru, guru, chum. And uh, <laughs> he asked me if the main sail was broken because he's a cheeky bastard. And uh, no, Mick, the main sail isn't broken, but this big sail, um, it creates quite a lot of weather helm and the tiller pilot can't cope with it once the wind gets above maybe 10 15 uh, not 15 10 or 12 knots then it overloads the tiller pilot i think as i mentioned earlier um, so i can't be I can't be flying the mainsail and the spinnaker at the same time because that really immediately overloads the tiller pilot unless i want to hand steer which i did earlier while I was taking the video call with Mick, which was hilarious. I don't remember any of the call because I was just staring at the spinnaker the whole time going, oh, it's going to luff any minute now. Oh, there it goes, damn it. Yeah. Okay, I'll edit that bit out. I don't want Mick to hear that. All right, cheers. Bye. How lovely. Here we are in the Bay of Cadiz. This is day I have no idea. But isn't it lovely? <laughs> See the moonlight on the water, ships in the distance, stars in the skies. There's the moon there. Hello, moon. It's the Algarve coast over there somewhere. No idea. A few little cloudies, but <laughs> they don't even count. They're not even on the scale. Oh, I'm going to enjoy tonight. There is um, shipping around. The, the lanes are over there, though. I, I deliberately um, deliberately chose my course that I would be away from and parallel to the shipping lanes. So um, it's only the odd renegade that I have to look out for in this area, um, which is, uh, yeah, it's all right. And it seems like everyone is sticking to the, to the lanes and uh, checking the trends on the on the AIS and then they're all they all line up nicely so yeah, I can relax a little bit tonight it's still a bit wobbly I mean we're not in the med yet this is oh. what it's all about all right ciao having said my bit about um, about the traffic lanes earlier on here are two stray buggers <laughs> who are corralling me. They're going to be one either side. And, uh, there's, well, well, I mean, it, they're not going to be super close, but they're going to be quite close. This is um, four miles and eight miles. Oh, can you see anything? This is four miles and eight miles. I think he's going to be uh, less than uh, a third of a mile. Uh, he's obviously further. These little markers, they show where the vessel's going to be in X amount of time. And I can't remember if I've got them set at 30 minutes or 10 minutes. Yeah, so that's where we're all going to be at 30 minutes, well past each other. So long before 30 minutes, we're going to have a closest point of approach. What I'm going to do now is put a jumper on because it's chilly now and, uh, and look out for their lights be ready to uh, maneuver if required which I won't be I'm a sailing vessel I'll just shine a shine a light at my sail okay shine a light on your sail and that kind of without having to bother anyone on the radio or anything like that what you're doing is illuminating the fact that you're a sailing boat and that's kind of declaring your uh, right to stand on and uh, yeah that's all you need to do that's us we're right there in the big blue actually it's not the big blue it's the small Golfo de Cadiz no. <laughs> Heading for Tarifa, or Tarry, as I've decided to rename it. 
Now, an interesting charting anomaly here. You can see that on this chart, very clearly, the depth is 760 meters, but in actual fact, according to my AMR DST smart sensor, the depth is 35.4 meters. So I'm not sure if I need to speak to Amar or the Admiralty about this slight discrepancy. <laughs>